What's going on, Sniping for Dom fans and all you big, big, sexy supporters out there? My name is Derek. My gamer tag alias is for Dom. For all you guys who may not know who I am, how the hell are you guys doing today? Today I'm back with another video, and what I'm going to be talking about is the most OP. If you don't know what OP means, most overpowering gun setup in Infinite Warfare, the brand new Call of Duty. It's coming out in a week. Uh, I had a chance to play the beta for two weeks. I've had over 60 some hours in this, and I've realized what it takes, how phenomenal of a COD player you can be, and how overpowering the COD class that I'm about to uh, introduce to you guys. Sniping is back, boys and ladies. For all my girls that still watch these videos, sniping is back in a big way. It feels really good to snipe in this game. Um, I think the playability of this game is going to be a little bit more than Black Ops 3. I'm really excited to see how competitive is going to be, um, as well as, you know, I'm getting back into sniping myself and trying to go for clips and montages, and I think there's going to be some really cool things. So I'm going to be talking about some of the guns um, that, that are out there, but I'm going to go ahead. I'm just going to go ahead and say it. Run a swap class with any sniper that you want to have for your long shots, you know, right off the rip, no matter what, if you're playing Domination, TDM, you know, I I any of those game modes. Um, we haven't seen Search and Destroy yet, but I'm sure it's going to be one hell of a game mode, just like it always is. I'm really excited to play Search and Destroy on this game as well. So run a, you know, here I'm using the longbow, and then I'm also, for my swap, I'm using uh, an FNG. And you can use any submachine gun that you want. Even some of the pistols are overpowering in this game. Some of the pistols are really good. But for close combat quarters, um, close quarter combat, sorry about that, you definitely want to have an SMG, and then for your longer shots, it's just... It's just all OP. The guns are very well balanced in Infinite Warfare. Uh, so in some of the assault rifles, you have the NV4. It's a fully auto ballistic rifle. It's got a moderate rate, you know. Um, it's got increased stability, uh, and it's the best in its class at accuracy. A great. The R3K is probably one of my favorite assault rifles. That's the three round burst energy rifle. That gun is phenomenal. If you haven't tried it out, you definitely need to. The K bar very overpowering. It's fully auto as well. Um, the Type 2 is a really, really, really good gun. That's what I'm using on the... I believe that is what I'm using, actually, on the swap class that I'm using correct, uh, right now. The Volk, that was the that was one of the weapons that was inter, you know brought to us at the end of the beta, and that thing was really nasty. So, in your SMGs, you have the Arid, which was a great... It was fully auto. Um, the FHR-40, that was fully auto as well. And that had an extreme fire rate uh, that used a unique, uh, what was it, a magnetic bolt carrier. Um, the Karma 45, I think that's pretty much the new Vesper. You know what I'm saying? Um, a lot of people are going to be using that a lot. Uh, the RPR Evo, that gun wasn't bad. I wasn't a big fan of it. Um, it's got longer, for it's for longer range engagements, that's for sure. The HVR I thought was extra good. Uh, it uses heavy terrestrial ammo. And that's got it's in the best of its class for stopping power. So that thing could be that thing could be crucial. Um, now the the raw is in the LMG. Really cool. I really like the Mauler in the LMG class. That was you know the, these are all fully auto as well. But uh, it's got a dispersion muzzle that applies ultra rapid fire into a tip hip spread. So you know you can still hip fire with that thing pretty well. The Titan uh, we haven't really seen yet. Um, I haven't played with it. That is a... It delivers high damage with strong recoil, though. So you're going to need to put, you know, grip on that for sure. Some of the shotguns. Pretty OP shotguns. Not going to lie. The Reaver. The DCM-8. The Banshee. And then for your sniper rifles that we know of so far, the KBS Longbow, which I'm currently using, and the EBR. Now, the thing about the EBR is that thing is... A, a really good sniper, it, it kind of has a really bad recoil, but if you hold the Y button down, you know, it switches to an assault rifle. And that assault rifle with those iron sights on it, oh my god, that thing is beyond out of this world. So you could you could use extra perks up, let's say if you wanted to do a, a swap class or something, you already have kind of like a built-in swap class with that sniper. 
and uh, oh god, that guy got a shit on right there. But really enjoying the game. I know a lot of people weren't giving it enough time. They they didn't really understand how to play the game. And I'm telling you, make you one of these classes up. Get you a sniper and you know a, a different uh, you know backup gun instead of just a pistol or or you know just using it up in perks. I'm telling you, it might change the way that you think about the game and you definitely need to slow down your game style until you get used to this and how it plays a lot of people are playing it like it's black ops 3 or you know any other infinity ward game and you can't do that so i've been telling people to play a little bit more like ghost even though that i hated ghost definitely give it a chance guys try out these classes i'm telling you I'm telling you, just trust me, get you a swap class, it will be the most OP thing used. When you see competitive go on, I guarantee you everybody's going to be rocking a sniper and an SMG. That's for sure, at least two to three out of the four players. That's the end of the gameplay, guys. Please throw a like and a comment on this, let me know what you think. Tell me your opinions down there, down below, I want to hear what you guys have to say. Tell me about the game, it's getting ready to launch out, I love you guys, and mwah, we'll see you later. Thanks so much, Sniper for Dom fans and all you big, big, sexy supporters out there. Thank you once again. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and a comment on it as it does help aid me to keep going on in my YouTube career. Also, don't forget, I do stream every single day on YouTube around 11 or 11.30 a.m. Eastern Time Zone. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure you go and check some of my other videos out. I love you guys. Have a great fucking day. Mwah!